Okay, so let's get this all working together. So right now when we click on an issue, we just see that issue. We don't see the associated time, and there's no way to add a new time entry. So let's get that working. To do that, we're going to open up the page in SharePoint Designer. So we're going to Lists and Libraries. This time we're going to the Issue List, and we are going to go to the Display Form. Now here is our Display Form for our issue. What we're going to do now is a nice little feature I do like about SBD 2010. We're going to insert a related item view. This automatically detects our time list is related to the issue list. So we can just click on time issue ID. It drops in the view and it automatically creates that relationship so it only shows those items that are related. So if we save this and go back into our issue, click on the issue, we see the related time entries. However, when we go to click on a new item, our issue ID is not set for us. So we'd still have to set that manually. So manually, issue ID is one, we did one hour, we save it. Then you see it adds manually one, but we had to manually add it there. Uh, if we add another one, uh, let's call it not related, with an issue ID of two, there is no issue ID of two yet, so if we save that, even blows up on us saying, hey, you can't do that. There's no issue ID of two. Okay, so what we want to do now is have it to where we can add one and have that issue ID automatically set. Now, the way I figured out how to do this in SP2010 is we want to edit the list. We want to modify the default display form, and it brings up this page in 2010 without having it be a pop-up, and we're going to add a content editor web part. Yes, I know a lot of you don't like content editor web parts. Tough. I'm using a content editor web part because I'm adding some JavaScript. You could theoretically add this JavaScript uh, directly to the page in SPD if you wanted to. I'm doing it in, in a content editor web part. It's just the way I am. Um, I have a little notepad here with the script we're using. It's a very simple function, and what it's doing is it's getting the ID of our issue from the query string, and it's storing it in an issue ID variable. We are then calling the same function that SharePoint calls to do the pop-up for the time for add new item. So we're going to call that same function new item, but we're passing in the URL to our new form page, and we're passing in the query string ID of our issue. Make sense? I've also got this. You could just do a Windows location and do the same thing, and that opens up a window. It doesn't open up the nice, pretty pop-up. And then I've got a uh, link here. It says click here to insert new time, and all it's doing is calling this new time function. Okay? This uh, script will be in my blog, so you can actually read it and look at it. But let's copy that and get it into our content editor web part. Let's paste that in there. Click OK to save it. We want to stop editing the page. Now, when we look at our item, you see our link. Click here to insert new item. So I click on it, and look, our issue ID is already set. So it's already set for me. And I'll put five hours down, save it, and there you go. Five hours, already set, automatically doing it for you, you don't have to do anything. Um, you can get rid of this add new item by just editing the web part and sh uh, not showing it in the toolbar. Uh, if you need an answer on how to do that, well, we want to do that real quick. So we don't want that add new item to show up. So what we want to do again is modify the default display page. We want to modify, we want to edit this web part and we want to show no toolbar. Apply it, and it's gone. So now we stop editing the page. The add is gone, and all we have is our add to add a new one. There you have it. It works. Um, like I said, you want to place that JavaScript directly in the page. You can. I put it in the content editor web part. And uh, I've got another solution that's not quite as uh, a little more hacky, but it works too. I'll have that in there so you have a choice of what you want to do. Thanks.